Another challenger. It has been ages. I don't know what voice to do him. I have a voice, but I don't know if it's loud enough for the mic. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. I have no idea what voice to do. Allow me to remind you. I'll just do that. It sounds fine. Play the squirrel card. I haven't played it on my beefy desktop yet. I've just played it on my laptop, so it looks amazing. Play the squirrel card. Okay. Now play your stoat. I can't hold the microphone. Okay, um, stoat. Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. An honorable death. Play the stoat. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell and end your turn and commence combat. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is its attack power. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. Ah! Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is due less. If your creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. I know that's just a river snapper, I'm not drawing that. <laughs> How dull. And then I know space is to ring the bell. You can just press space. You know you can play more than one. Because you're... I, I didn't get to read that. Because you're learning. I will pass. Again, the choice. A random card from your deck, or the certainty of a squirrel. Squirrel, please. <laughs> the wolf demands two sacrifices. Bop bop. Four damage dealt, four weights on the scale. You've won this match. Hopefully I'm not too quiet. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Two denizen, denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. The cost to gather damage from its poison bite is always lethal. The undying cat sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Only one may grace your paltry death. This one! Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seem willing to follow you. She's noisy. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle, break in case of emergency. You have a second. You have a second, is that what I said? Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Three is as much as you can carry. Okay, I need to sit up so the camera can see me well. You are ambushed while crossing the rough terrain. You didn't sacrifice me. How kind. Maybe you'll help me? Take your turn. Play along for now. Okay. You may now see my moves ahead of time. Wolf cub. Behold, the rule book. Okay. Fledgling, a card bearing the sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn in the, on the board. Okay. Squirrel. Actually, what do I want to do? Yeah, squirrel. Oh. Oh, dang it. Uh... This'll work. Was I not clear? You could play a squirrel and also sacrifice it in the same turn. I know, I just didn't want to. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. Okay. The adder demands two sacrifices. A serpent, perhaps more deadly than man. 
Ah, oh, boy. Not the bat. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Boo. Stoat, get it. What was I doing again? Oh, yeah. Just let it play out. Uh... Uh... Sorry, Stoat. Fear not. The beast is sacrificed, but not removed from your deck. It's suffering it was real, but you will see it again. Okay. Okay. Squirrel. Boom boom. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the now bloody terrain. All right. The young wolf cub, it grows into a wolf after a single turn. The meek sparrow, an inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. Wolf cub. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You are compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. You looked upon your menagerie and selected a healthy host. Boop! What an honor. A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the Addo now lives in the stoat. Now he's poison! Yay! Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Can I have one? Can I want one, please? I hate that. I hate everything. Actually, no, because then I don't lose ca characters. Go! That's not a stow. I thought that was a stow. Oh, that works, though. It still works. We good. My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. Me. Uh. Uh. What does this do? I figured. Okay. A well-earned point of damage. I didn't think you would really do it. Yeah, well, I don't feel pain. Why did I do that again? Okay, whatever. All right. Another squirrel for the wolf. Boop, boop. You're one damage away from winning. Flying wolf, uh, whatever will I do? You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. Okay. What what do I get? Adder, the proud wolf, a vicious contender. A flighty elk. It moves after er, attacking. Ooh, I'm going for the wolf, come on. Give me that wolf. I don't really have any sigils to give right now. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around the campfire. They looked up your they looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come warm one of you come warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, that will enhance its power. 
said another. He noticed one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Hmm. Well, I mean... Ooh, ooh, that's a good choice. Ooh. It says plus one attack. So... The wolf cub. The fire won the poor wolf. The poor wolf cub enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached toward it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the wolf cub away from the fire and fled. Okay. <laughs> He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough! <laughs> Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Okay. Sparrow and Grizzly! Oh, okay then. Uh, oh, well, I don't want to lose the stove. Okay, so, what can I lose? I can tank some hits, so. I guess just let it play out? Another one! Flip! What? Flip! No! Another one? Uh-uh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, that was a bad choice of uh, w a way to do it. Um, crap. Go, squirrel. Protect me. Boop. Okay, grab squirrels. Just defend me, please. Oh, man. This is not good. Okay, I've got space. The wolf. Go. Uh. Okay. Ah, uh, he's dead. Um, yeah, he's dead. I'm close to death. Ooh, I want to put him down. He'll do two damage. Not enough to kill it, sadly. Another grizzly! What? What? Was there another grizzly? Ah! <laughs> You've lost. Using this as a leaping opportunity may be the only... Did I say leaping opportunity? Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. That one? Bring it here. Okay. Now sit back down. Wait, give me a moment. I want to look around. Okay, that was that. That. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. Okay. Um. What's this? I want that. Can I stab him and leave? Clock. Hmm. Hammer and a wand. Okay. What the what the flip was that? I saw a hand. There was a hand right there. You saw that, right? There was a hand right flipping there. Huh. Okay. Uh. Okay then. Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now where were we? Um... There's a bat? Which I assume would be the item stuff. But then there's this. Hmm. I'll go this. The conniving raven. A blight. She's okay. The conniving raven. A blight upon the skies. 
the watchful bullfrog who leaps in the way of attacking flyers. A carving the sigil. What the heck is that? Will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Okay. And the sparrow. Raven, please. Okay. A rock may get you out of a hard place. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a time. Its bleeding yields three blood, if you can ignore the bleeding. This one! This one. And this one. Feeling overburdened enough with the full three items you carried on. Ah, crap. No. Dialogue. This is a horrible mistake. The trees seemed to close in and around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Yeah! It was the Prospector! Okay. Coyote, pack mule. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's do wolf cub here. Here. Hmm. Any gimmick there. Anyway, um. Sure, that's it. Boop. Yep, I want to kill him. Okay. Oh, he can't move because someone's blocking him. Sick. Um. Squirrel. It does four damage. Nice. Adder. Okay. Um. Planning. I want squirrel. I don't want to use the black though. Yeah, I want to get that when I. I see that. Black goat bottle to the user. A black goat is created in your hand. A black goat is defined as your effect. You have unhealth. Worthy sacrifice. It has a three blood thing right there, so I'm assuming that means I can plop it down. Um. Yeah, I guess just go. Oh gosh, damage. Oh no. Uh. Wolf! It's the stout! Prospector again. Easy boss. Meals key. I didn't read that first part. Whoops. Alright, stowed. This spot? You sure? Yes. Don't chat. Don't judge me. What do we get? Cards. Squirrel, cat, raven, skunk. Ooh. Dig near me, my mule. I don't know if I should be saying I don't care. I don't know. It's fine. Squirrel. Cat. Many lives. When a card bearing a sigil is sacrificed, it does not. It does not perish. Nice. Uh. Raven skunk. What is that? Stinky. The creature opposing a card bearing a sigil loses one power. Ooh, that's nice. So yeah. Wait. Uh... No. Okay. Um. I don't know what to do. I've kind of screwed myself. I guess just go. No, not the coyote! No! No! Alright, squirrel. Uh, I need to do a lot of damage right now. Uh, let's go. That's three. Wait, they're just gonna do three. Dang it. Uh, here, another one. Do I have two squirrels? Yes. Uh. No, go there. 
the other raven. Okay. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. There's gold in them cards. Oh, wait, no! No! Can I, can I do something with it? Good gold! I've struck gold! Okay, uh... Wait, those cards are... Okay, um... Put the squirrel down. To put the... Black goat down. To put the river snapper down. And then just see what happens. Get him! Okay. No! 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 Dang it, now I have to tank four damage! Okay, there, squirrel. Boom. Uh. I didn't plan ahead very well. Uh. Here, the bloodhound. I don't know. I screwed this up so badly. No, I didn't. Yes! Heck yeah. I did it. I'm not hosed. And I'm gonna do a ton of damage. Alright, so I do four damage. And then that wolf cub's gonna ruin everything. What to do? Okay, so I'll do four. It'll go up to one, two, three, four. Then they'll do three. One, two, three. Then I'll do one. And they'll do four, three. I think I'll be okay if I just let it play out. Alright, squirrel. I really overthought this. Uh, just... That. Yes! Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. Okay. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Okay. Rare cards? Strange larva, a largely unimpressive specimen. Okay. The I will the okay. This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. Seven seven, but it costs four blood. That's so dumb. The Gek, he's free. The uninspiring Gek. Perhaps you can find a use for it. So the Gek, I see the use in it. It's free, and then you can upgrade it and give it a bunch of cool stuff. I really is just. If you are a really good blood deck, I guess. And then, Strange Larva. I want to see what that does. Seems like it'll upgrade into something interesting. With sound of, of the Prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ear as you carried onwards. Did I kill him, or did I just, like, play cards with him and then he just let me go? Hmm. The rank smell of rotten mold. Perme permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. Okay, I just got really dizzy. Um, oh, cards. Heck yeah. Give me them cards. The stalwart snapper. A near un impenetrable defense. It's got six health. Ah, the elusive otter. It submerges itself during my turn. Cool. So it can't be damaged? The mantis. A 
fervid mantis, its prying claws strike both to the left and right. I don't want mantis, please. I think the mushroom means I already have it. Um. Uh. Yes, please. Does it? Okay, good. It doesn't replace it. Um. Okay. Ba -do -ba -do. Next fight. Um, squirrel. Strange larva. I don't like that bullfrog. Um, all right. I guess just go. I'm gonna. T uh, I'm gonna take two damage. That's not good. Strange pupa. Ooh. How intriguing. My best bet is to just block one. Otherwise, I'm gonna take too much. The mantis! Uh, not a mantis! Yeah, I would have died right there. Mothman! Seven damage flying and three health. Three health. Okay. That's really good. And the mantis can't stop him. Seven damage. Heck yes. Boom! They'll do... That's a lot of damage. That's five damage. But I still do a ton, so... Alright, um... Put him down. Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? I kind of just assumed that was a thing. I Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Lucky for you. Yay! The omnipresent mole. It burrows and emerges to block any landborn attacker. Burrower, when the, an empty space would be struck, a card bearing this sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Nice. River Otter or River Snapper? Otter. Power. This has two of those. That's actually really good. But I'd rather increase power. So... A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There's room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its health, said another. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could, could not stop licking their lips. No way. Oh, you're... Uh, I don't know. No, the wolf cub's going in. Health? Heck yeah. The health of the wolf cub was enhanced by the war. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdraw. Okay. What does that mean? Is that a scary- oh, it's one of these fights, okay. Alright, that looks like bug flying defense for both of us. Dang it, let me read This foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. I didn't get to read it because I was looking at the thing! Oh, that's not helpful at all. Okay, um, what can I do? The stoat. And that's it. Uh, put you here. I don't like that bee right there. That bee is kind of annoying. I'm gonna take three damage and I'm gonna die. Um, not with the help of friendly neighborhood Wolfie Man. Oh, well, now we're just in a perpetual loop of- Oh my gosh! I've made a horrible mistake! I've made a horrible mistake! I'm flipping hosed! Am I dead? No, just barely. Um... Boo! That's not good. That's not good. I still take two damage. No! No! Ah! Come on! How disappointing. Oh, he relit my candle. Oh, yeah, after being the boss. Cards? I want cards. 
All right. River Snapper, Raven Egg. And nascent raven it is no less conniving in its incubation okay it's like the wolf cub but terrible i don't want any of these these all suck rivers raven egg i guess okay the warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight tough the ten hungry eyes around it Ampen the greeting. Warm a creature by the fire, enhance its power, said one. Okay, who do I want to increase in power? Wolf cub! Yeah! The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's power. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your wolf cub. Okay. Kingfisher, bullfrog, and sparrow. That looks like death. I don't like that. The kingfisher has that, so... That's interesting. Okay. And the sparrow. I think I'll take out the bull. Uh, okay. Hold your breath. Okay. Yeah, this, that thing is basically... Whoa. Okay. Uh, I can take... I'm gonna take three more damage. Four more damage! Wolf! Go in again! Uh, do a bunch of damage. Three. That, that otter's never gonna get in. That's funny. I'll do three. They'll do four. I'll be fine. Ah, the coyote! Oh, anything but the coyote. Alright, put the two down. Just put them here. And that's it? How much am I gonna take? Three? And then they'll only do two. I'm gonna be fine. No! They do three! Dang it, I miscalculated. It's fine, I can do this. And then there's a bullfrog coming up, which is less than helpful. Okay, a raven. All right, put that in there. Don't put him there. Nice, how brutal of you. You dealt more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. Okay, I need to stop leaning over. I did the camera so I have to sit upright. Mantis? I'm going Mantis! Yes, please. Yes! Ooh, a thing. Mantis. On the wall? <laughs> yes, please. That's six damage right there. Heck yeah. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a, cra a bracking pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Go fish. Okay, alright. Let's put you down. Raven egg, that's handy. Put it here, because then it's safe. Another kingfisher. Which fish? Or choose. <sighs> what does that mean? Oh, no, 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 no. He's going to do something to it. Uh, can I? What do I do? Um, Treasure fish. Easy choose. 
Okay, do that, please. Um, yeah, that works. Yay. Okay. Mine now, go fish. Okay. This is... This is really loud. Um... Yeah, I'll just do the raven. Do damage, come on, we're gonna be here all day. Hmm. Stale fish, hard cheese. What? You did it immediately after. Okay, fine. Uh, do the bullfrog. New fish, easy choose. Okay. Oh, wait, no. Because that's just going to kill it. Oh, dang it. Lame. I guess just go river? No, because then it'll take the river otter. Wow, I'm hosed. Okay. Huh. Oh! Take new fish? Easy. Uh, can you stop taking all my fish? I mean, my squirrels? Although it does block that, so I can just continuously do this. Stop! Ah! I'll just keep doing this. Because I win now, so... Win wave one. Alright. Too fast. Too soon. What? What's happening? What is happening? <laughs> grizzlies! <laughs> Fupping grizzlies! With flying protection? What? What? Are you flipping with me? What am I supposed to do? I'm hosed! I'm so hosed! Ugh, just go! What? What can I do against this? I'm hosed! Oh my gosh, what the heck? Ah, what? What? Oh, go fish. Okay, what the heck? You piece of crap! Okay. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. Would you like a memento? I would like a memento. Oh, okay. Your very own death card. I get to make a card? It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be per a, per a perfect m memento of you. Wow. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. Hey! You can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Wolf Cub, duh. A cost of one blood from the Wolf Cub. And another. This time I will use its power and health. The numbers. Rave? Wolf, please. Three power and two health from the Wolf. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. This one. The sigil of bifur bifurcated strike from the wolf. Bifurcated? What? I never did ask you your name. Uh, What's something weird? Um, Alan. This is Alan. There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Are you ready? You do not need to smile. Oh, oh, fine. Oh, dang it. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you, you can understand bones. Bones? P a possum? The resourceful opossum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason.
Okay. A bone. From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. Okay. A rattler. That's a new one. That's a big snake, and it does a lot of damage. I don't like that. Uh, I need to kill you fast. Another one! I'm hosed again. If I die again, I'm going to be pissed off. Um, kill it, please. Kill it, please. Bullfrog. Go for me, bullfrog. That was unwise. Had I not put the bullfrog down yet, I could have gotten a ton of money. But, tooth money. I thought it was broken for a second. <laughs> oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's beside the safe. I saw I saw a hand again. There's something there, right? I swear. Am I going in? That's new. Adder and squirrel. Okay. I'll remember that. What? The mighty leap. A card. I just wanted to look at the rule, but uh, a card bearing this sigil will block an opposing creature being named. Two seven three. Why is there an I there? Two seven three. Does that mean this? I noticed the clock was weird. It had these little switches on it, but I didn't know what it was yet. That's probably the safe. Co Actually, that does look like the safe code. That looks like a safe knob. It looked like an I before, but now it looks like a safe knob. I'm gonna do this real quick. Let's do longhand. Uh, two seven three. Let's do all the combinations. Uh, seven, two, three. That's not right. Uh, this. All right, fine then. Nope, doesn't work. Okay. Why is it moving? Oh my gosh, there's something in it, isn't there? Uh, seven, three. A card? Stink bug. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron grit. Is pit, is the stoat around? The stunted wolf? This madness must end. Put that away. I'm keeping that. That stinky sigil. Key. The key goes over here. Oh, a thing. Click. And then it'll go up. Yay. Cool. Um, puzzle? That was easy. Skink. I forgot that I had put that there. Very well. You, you may add it to your deck, and I'll deal you one every so often. Okay, what about this one? Okay, that wouldn't do anything that would kill it, but... Wouldn't do anything. Okay. Worker, worker ant and ant queen. Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challengers. Okay. Do more! Yay! Uh, what does that do? Let me go check. Where's a tail? What the crap? There's all this stuff I'm not even going to bother with. I just want to... Wait, I saw it! Loose tail. When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Okay. So it, like, 
just skinks out of the way. Yeah, so a tail will be created. Ant thing. What does that mean? Did I just say something? Just keep... Ah, there! Uh, ant spawner. When a card bearing the sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. Okay. That's not... Okay, sure. Um... There, okay. Caged wolf, curious. Wait a minute. Okay. Um... What is that? Sharp quills. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. Okay, so it's like... So it's porcupine. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm, stu I'm stupid. Okay, got it. Flipping got it. Nope, not that guy. There! Yes! Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. In time, you will understand its power. It's a squirrel. It's a wood squirrel. Oh, so that's supposed to go here. The caged wolf. Alright, I see. The figurine is beside the safe. Oh yeah, I forgot that was what I was doing. That looks like crap, but okay. Let us continue. Alright. The meager coyote. But what did you expect for only four bones? Oh, I can use the coyote now. The nefarious rattler. A brittle creature, once past its monstrous fangs. The unkillable cockroach, it returns to your hand after dying. Say what now? Uh, Say when, when, what, what? Unkillable. When a card bearing a sigil perishes, a copy of his crane in your hand. Yes, please! What? What? You know you're free to get up again. To keep your blood flowing. Okay, can I edit this? If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of your cards with these. One of the cards? The scissors? Okay. Can I edit this? I'm no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me to be time to plan your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my possessions. Okay. Twelve o'clock. Put them all on the 12. What? Does it fit? I was just gonna do that. Okay. I'm not gonna do that again. Okay, that. I have a ring now, I guess? Cool. Style. Stinkbug, you again. Indeed, our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You've got to be. I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. Okay. Otter and coyote. I don't like that. Um. Oh, my stove doesn't have the thing anymore. Lame them down here. Total misplay. Screw you! <laughs> Piece of crap. Don't tell me when I misplay. Because guess what? You're going to kill that coyote and you're going to like it. Piece of crap. Just like that. Good job. I'm sure you only have one health. I don't give a dang. 
All right, put that, put that down. Put this down. Why is that green? Power numbers. The ants. What is this? Ants. Oh, this is a different thing. Okay. So I'm stupid. The value represented with this sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. Okay, so... If I have this correct, stink bug, because then the otter can't do anything back in the game. Yeah. Sure. Oh, okay, so this... The ant queen spawns an ant, and then I put the ant down to make it a two? Yep, two ants. Nice. Destroy him! Yes! This way. Alan? Nice. Coyote and Rattler. I'm taking Alan, please. Nice. I get to use those cards later on. Perfect. Um, I mean, it wouldn't make sense if I just made the card and I couldn't do anything with it. Um... Flip! I almost just knocked the microphone over. Uh. I know I can look at my deck doing this. I want to... The cockroach. I want to give that to someone. Alan? Oh? Oh? Why is it so slow? Alan. Go. He is now invincible. He is now unlimited. Unlimited power. Okay. And I can put him down. Right here. Wait. How much damage do I need? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Instant wins! Yes! Heck yeah! Cards, yes. Bring on the cards. Turkey vulture. Eight bones. The pernicious vulture, a tyrant to the skies. 3-3, three, three, that's pretty good. A raven egg, and an elk. I'll take the turkey vulture. Um, I know, it, I'm, when am I ever going to get eight bones, but whatever. What to do? What was the option? This or this? Okay, so... Can I give him another sigil? If I do, what sigil do I want it to be? Stinky? Stinky works, yeah, stinky, because then I can... Because then the because he can't attack forward, so the creature in front of him shouldn't be able to attack him. Stink bug. Wait, no. Oh, I can't give him two. Okay, fine. I'll do something else. Uh, what is there? That's a bull crap. I should be able to gi give him two. Um, these all suck, honestly. Um, who do I want to? Who do I even have that I would give something to? Dang it, now I just want to upgrade Alan's stats on the campfire, but I can't. Um. Caged Wolf. Why do I. Okay. Um. Let's just do a wolf. Give it. Bullfrog. Sure. Defense Wolf. I don't know. Something annoying. Okay. Okay. Coyote. A porcupine? I don't like that. Porcupine is not good. Uh. Alright, do that. Ah, uh, not a sparrow. What the heck? I didn't plan ahead, I still need a squirrel to do that, but it's fine. Definitely don't want to attack that, so... I see the way this is going. I can see. You may accept my surrender. Or you may finish this match the slow way. An olive branch? I would rather make you suffer through my victory. Yeah, I'll deal one damage, but that's fine. Boom, 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 boom. Tons of teeth, yes. What's this? 
you came across a hobbled man standing beside some boulders. Ye caught me off guard! Not supposed to see me till further down the road. Yeah, like, two things away. Say, I like me a gamble. If a ye can pick a bolt, a boulder that has gold in it, ye can keep it. Oh! Show me where to strike. I'll just go middle. No point in... An ant mantis? No gold. But that is a funny looking environment. Keep it. Heck yes, thank you. A campfire. Warm a creature by the fire and enhance its power, said a hungry survivor. Okay. Stop it. Fine, I'll do him. The fire warmed the weary Alan and enhanced its power, his power. You suspected the intentions of the survivors were less than pure. With your Alan in tow, you retreated into the woods. Okay. Ah. My boss battles are high stake te stakes tests of your aptitude. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. Fear not, I will let you keep the smoke. Ooh! The incessant clank, clank, clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. Twas the prospector! Yeehaw! Ooh, put the mantis down, please. The smoke, what does this mean? Bone a king. When a card bearing the sigil dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. And it's free, so it's like a mega squirrel, I assume? So put the mantis down. Right. So many bones. Put him here. And then I have a worker ant, so put the squirrel down. Skink? Nah, just worker ant. Look at this. Bam. Three. No, not another guy out of flap. Oh no. A worker ant? Best not put the mantis to waste, I mean. Might as well. Sweet. Put the skiing down. Kill the, kill the coyote. All right, uh, wolf. Ooh. Uh, I don't want to get rid of my ants though. They're good. Oh, that ant's dead though after this. So, still not gonna get rid of it. But. Ooh, it killed it. Uh, wolf. What? my Okay. Oh, I won. Sweet. There's gold in the cards. Wait, no. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm hosed. I can't. I, oh, wow. I forgot about that. I actually just straight up forgot. Gold. I've struck gold. Okay. Squirrel, rattler, adder, beehive. Bees within. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, a bee is created in your hand. A bee is defined in health. Airborne. How does that work on the enemy? Do they get a bee? It just says once a card bearing this it doesn't say specify mine. You're out of space is fine, screw you. Get him. Alright, do that. Um Beehive, sure. Go ahead, get strooping. And now I have a bee. Cool. Can I put the rattler down? Oh I can, sweet. Kill the bloodhound. Boom. I just win, right? Yeah! Let me relight your candles. Child 13, what the? Poor abandoned child, 
does not die when sacrificed. But do you have the heart to try? Yes, I do. Long elk? I have no words for this freak of nature. It's four bones, poison, and it moves. <laughs> I'm getting child to a teen. 13. I want to see what it does. After the har harrowing encounter with the prospector, you gathered yourself and continued onward. Let me see. The air grew thick with moisture. The buzzing and chirping of insects drowned out the sound of your footfalls. You beheld the wetlands. Alright, I'm going to end the episode here. Bye-bye!